Welcome to this video from Joomla Shack. I'm going to talk about Shack Forms, one of the best and most popular Joomla Forms extensions. And in particular, I'm going to talk about the different field types that are available inside Shack Forms, from name, email address, and phone number, to select lists, radio groups, and more. Shack Forms is one of the most popular Forms extensions in Joomla with well over 300 five-star reviews on the Joomla extensions directory. One of the reasons that it's so popular is that it can be placed almost anywhere on your site. Shack Forms is, as you can see on the screen in front of me, inside a module, which means that you can put it inside a module position, inside an article, inside a light box. It's completely flexible. You can place it almost anywhere on your site. In this example I'm going to show you today, I've taken the Shack Forms module and put it in the sidebar of the site and also in the main part of the site here as well. So you can see how flexible it is in terms of positioning. And I'm going to show you how you can customize the form itself with different fields. Inside the module itself, you'll see lots and lots of different settings. But we're going to focus on the first screen in front of us. And if you click on the Load Sample Fields button, it's going to get you started with a basic contact form. You're going to see name, email, phone, and message. And it's going to input some basic labels that come directly from Shack Forms and its default language. You can customize this if you want. At the moment, it says name, email, phone, and message on the labels. I'm going to customize these quickly. Your name, your email, your phone, and finally, your message to us. So the labels are now customized. And if you look at the little down arrows next to each field, you can review more settings for each of these fields. For example, you can change the type of field. You can enter certain default values. You can create a little tooltip that will give people advice about what to enter into the field. And you can use some validation as well. This is particularly useful for phone numbers, for example, you can make sure that people enter their data in the right format. You can validate to make sure that it's a phone number and you can decide whether it's required or not. We have four fields at the moment. If you want to add more fields, you can click Add New Field in the top left corner. Click Add New Field and you'll get a blank field underneath the ones you've created already. In this case, I'm going to ask the question, are you a previous customer? And I'm going to give people the choice in a select list. And is it required or not? Yes, this is going to be required. You can enter your choices in the values box here. Yes, I'm a customer. And then a horizontal bar in between the answers. Yes, I'm a customer or no, I'm a new customer. I'm going to save that new field and I'm going to take a look on the front of the site to see how it appears. There we go. I have a drop down choice now. Yes, I'm a customer. No, I'm a new customer. And back in the admin area of the site, if you want to rearrange these fields on the page, all you need to do is hover over the fields and you can drag and drop them into a different position like that. Click Save. And when you go back to your contact form, you should see that the fields are in the new order there. Let's take a look at one more new field example. In the top left corner, I'm going to click Add New Field. And this time for the new field, I'm going to ask people, when should we 
contact you. And the best choice for this is going to be a date. So I can have a date field. I can customize the format. It's day, month, year by default. But inside there, you can change that to be month, date, year, for example. I'm going to save that field and see what it looks like on the front of the site. And over here on the right side, we have a little date pop-up where people can browse around and select exactly when they want us to contact them. And as with earlier in the video, we don't really want that to be the last field on the list. So in the admin, we can drag and drop that to a new position and I'll click save to make sure that new position isn't lost. There is one special field that you can see on the screen in front of you, but we haven't activated yet. Underneath all of the fields we've created so far, there's an upload option. And if you hover over it, you'll see a little tooltip displays upload field if it's enabled in the upload tab. The upload field has a few special settings because you're going to need to upload a file from the customer and store it somewhere safe. So let's take a look at how that works. I'm going to go to the upload tab and at the moment show upload is set to no. I'm going to change that to yes. And it's going to give me all sorts of interesting and useful options for the file uploads. For example, are the files going to be emailed to me as well as simply stored inside check forms? Do we want to delete the files after they've been sent? How big can the files be? What type of files can people upload? You'll see some default listings here, such as zip and PDF. And you'll see information about where the files are going to be stored on your server. If you do change show upload to yes, then this upload field will be enabled automatically. So I've set it to yes. I'm going to click save on my module. And if I go back to the form on the front of my site, I should see that there's now an attachment field, add files, and it gives me all the details of what kind of file, how large it is, and um, the information I need before I upload a file using this form. So that's an introduction to the fields that are available with Shack Forms. If you head over to JumlaShack.com, you'll be able to see lots of detailed documentation about exactly how to set up each form. And if you're ready to enjoy a really flexible and easy to use Joomla Forms extension, you can join the thousands of people that use Shack Forms already and have left it over 300 five-star reviews on Joomla.org.